this video, we will be covering how to set up a defrost schedule for a case controller in our AKSM800A system manager. And if we start from our StarView web home screen or dashboard view uh, through PC, we can get into our configuration menu. And we'll want to start by actually getting into the setup of the case controller itself. So if we get into control, refrigeration, circuits and type we should have a drop down option in our case controller settings for defrost control so here we're looking at parameter d03 we want to pay attention to before we actually set the schedule itself this is a fail safe setting so that if the scheduled defrost that we'll set up next uh, aren't able to be broadcast from the system manager down to the case controller uh, that this parameter acts as a fail safe to still allow the case controller to go into a defrost so what we want to do here is set this to one hour past our normal interval so for example, if we're defrosting four times per day or once every six hours, we would want to set this fail safe parameter to seven so that it's one hour past that normal interval. Once we've completed that, then we can get into the section where we will actually set the schedules themselves. Um, so if we get into under control again, we want to go into schedules. And here you may have some configured already, depending on your setup, or you may be starting from scratch like we see here. So we'll add a schedule into the setup. And once that's in there, we can click on details to get into the setup of the schedule itself. Um, schedule usage, and in this case would be a defrost. So we could use just defrost itself if it's just a single evap case controller by itself. If we have multiple case controllers that we want to defrost together and terminate and not go back into refrigeration mode until all the case controllers in that group have terminated, then we would want to choose coordinated defrost. Um, so one of these two options typically is what we would see used. So we'll go ahead and choose coordinated here, even though we just have the single case controller. Description would just be a name of the circuit so you can name this whatever you want typically we see the circuit name or number and then just defrost as the description um, schedule control we could defrost off a digital input if we wanted to but time is, is most common um, staggering would allow us to stagger defrosts across multiple schedules or multiple uh, case controllers so if we have 20 cases in a store we, this would help to make sure they're not all defrosting at the same time and interval would be that spacing between one defrost grouping to the next. After that, we can set how many defrosts per day we want for this schedule. So we'll set that at four. And then we can either allow the system manager to um, determine which times it is just based off of what it defaults to. Otherwise, we could manually change the start time of each individual defrost here. Once that's complete, the last step in the setup would be to go into controllers here at the top of the screen. And you would be selecting which case controllers you want to apply to this schedule. So again, if we were going to have four, five, six case controllers that we're all going to defrost in a group together, we would want to enable or select for each one of them. Once that's complete, we can go back under schedules and if this is in an operational system and we want the schedule to take effect immediately then we can switch enable this schedule to yes um, otherwise if we're building this database ahead of time and we want to set this later on to, to start to take effect then that's a, a setting that you can enable at that point <laughs>